Speaking of criminal trouble, should we talk about Sean Diddy Combs? He's in a Diddy. He's in a whole host Can't of stop, trouble. What, won't stop. Yeah. What? Yeah. You, you're you're a lawyer. You play one on TV. What? Yeah. Why the Department of Homeland Security? Because sex trafficking. Yeah. For yeah. sure, they expect they suspect actual sex trafficking. Yeah. So, but isn't girls. and this is something we've been talking about. Isn't and I'm not to turn the tables and interview you, but isn't sex trafficking often kind of a like a BS category? Like when it's I think of sex trafficking, I think of you know like massive prostitution rings of you know Russians and poor people. That being, is just your poor education. Yeah, well, no, I know that's. Yeah. I mean, this entire show shows I, my poor education. I actually <laughs> did a, a yeah. few shows on this yeah. back at NBC, and they were very interesting, very educational for me. What happens a lot of the times is. Young woman meets a young man. He says, let's go out on a date. She meets him on a date. Um, this actually happened to one woman who told me her story. And he says, I'm taking you to the hotel and you're gonna sleep with this guy and you're gonna give me the money or I'm gonna hurt your son. Mm -hmm. Oh, that, I know yeah. you're back. I know you got a two year old yeah. back at your house. Mm -hmm. I've got a guy over there and so you will do it. And they always pick somebody who's, not always, but usually more working class who doesn't, you know, they're not gonna have some high security guard on speed dial. Mm -hmm. And um, before you know it, she's in it because now the threat keeps getting unleashed on her. Or let's say it's somebody who's alienated from her parents. She finds some guys like, move with me, let's go to Ohio. Okay, we'll be together. As soon as he gets her out to Ohio, he starts pimping her out with the same thing. Like yeah. threats, he beats her up, if she doesn't. Yeah. Next thing you know, her picture's posted on Backpage. It's like a business, she's miserable, she wants to kill herself. This is how it happens for a lot of women that, it, to young girls. One girl that had happened with her high school teacher who, Sign, we can't kind of ran a similar scam on her. So mm. it's usually somebody who you trust or you think you love who you trusted the wrong person. And before you know it, you've been threatened into doing this kind of work and you're not the only one. Yeah. Yeah, the scintillating aspects of this story have been the things that people have talked about much. Is it most, is he gay? Is he trying to groom an adult man? Is he is he doing sex trafficking? But the, the legal filings, I mean, there are shootings in yeah. there. That's right. Um, the, yeah. the, and, and Diddy has like a history of being in situations where someone gets shot, there's a gun involved. That's J-Lo. Looks like it had something yeah. to do with him. Um, the, and, and I mean, with the last situation with Cassie, which he settles out of yeah. court. What, I mean, at one day filings, after she, she filed it. I mean, her legal filing is extraordinary. Threatening to blow up another celebrity's vehicle, the vehicle then blows up. Like this is dis a disturbing, disturbing trend. Um, and it is pretty alarming to see all of this stuff playing out. I, I was a bit surprised as well to see Homeland Security involved, and I understand why they might be. Um, were you at all surprised by the scope of the raid when uh, you no, saw that? No, and I didn't care. I have to say, because in speaking with a lot of these recovering sex traffic victims, you know, obviously they've gotten out of it, now they're on NBC with me talking about it. Um, so, many of them work with the FBI now. Like, uh, for example, I know the Super Bowl is a very popular spot for girls to get, mm. quote, recruited um, against their will. It's there, these young women are in danger. And so, victims of sex trafficking will work with the FBI. So it is a federal thing. Like mm -hmm. they actually are cracking down on this. Uh, Donald Trump signed a law that made it you know, up the penalties for sex trafficking. So I'm not surprised if they actually have good reason to believe he's doing anything close to that with young yeah. women or men, that's exactly what you would see. So I do not, I have no sympathy for him. I'm not shocked by what I saw. I hope we see many more just like it because this mm. is a disgusting crime that so many young women find themselves pulled into mm -hmm. against their will. These are not voluntary, quote, sex workers, mm -hmm. which is the new favorite term amongst the left. These are, these are more like indentured servants who are afraid mm -hmm. and getting hurt. And we kind of just class them into willing prostitutes and we, we don't send in any cavalry to save them. And especially not in the case of somebody this rich and famous and powerful. Mm -hmm. Not saying he did it, he's denied this. Yeah. Not in response to these charges, but all the lawsuits yeah. against him. I'm just wary of, there've been a lot of cases where you hear sex trafficking at the beginning at the press conference and people are like, oh my God. And then when it comes down to it, it's not just that, oh, they couldn't quite prove it, but it, like it wasn't sex trafficking Or it was like one with. flight yeah. mm -hmm. of like one woman who or just, like, may or may not have wanted to be there. One Vietnamese prostitute that 
Bob Kraft was getting a handy from. Like, <laughs> like that, I mean, seriously, that yes. was that was billed as a gigantic sex trafficking case, and it just wasn't. It never was yeah. from the beginning. It was at the press conference level, and then everyone goes crazy about it. Mm. Not saying this is all the, the I mean, that's such the no, scale of here. this thing yeah. uh, is is absolutely different. But I think we yeah, should always think hold, that hold on with, to skepticism with the military force that you saw marshaled for that for that uh, raid that presumably they have something, but you know, mm -hmm. at the same time, my skepticism, which everybody should have skepticism about these things, is, you know, we've seen this weaponized a lot um, against rich people, against, you know, Supreme Court justices, things like that. I just like take a step back and let's see what the evidence I produces. That. And mm -hmm. that's about it. So I don't know I what it's all that. about. Grand Canyon University, a private Christian university in beautiful Phoenix, Arizona, believes in equal opportunity and that the American dream starts with purpose. Change the world for good by putting others before yourself. Whether your pursuit involves a bachelor's, master's, or doctoral degree, GCU's online, on-campus, and hybrid learning environments are designed to help you achieve your unique academic, personal, and professional goals. With over 330 academic programs as of September, GCU meets you where you are and provides a path to help you fulfill your dreams. The pursuit to serve others is yours. Let it flourish. Find your purpose at Grand Canyon University. Private, Christian, affordable. Visit gcu.edu. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.